You know, I don't see many people who are sharing how they incorporate their lives into their layouts. And um, I wanted to show how I've gone about doing it. So I'm um, just, uh, here's kind of my layout <clears throat> as it's being built. And we're coming across a town here. And, um, you know, we can see the various components. And it's a full circle. There's still the upper level that needs to be built. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing part one through, I don't know, however many it takes to just show you how I've incorporated part of who I am and both uh, humor as well as uh, things that made me sad um, as I was, um, as I've been building uh, this layout. And we're coming around all the way back to the trestle bridge. So, yeah, it's important to incorporate um, parts of yourselves in here, in these things. So here we go. Here's another part of my town, which I just <clears throat> had a lot of fun with. Here is a building uh that is called uh it's a carriage shop and it's really the early version of cars but i thought it was a thing about carriage and of course what i made is a carriage that's a hearse from a kit and if you look inside the herd this uh, carriage hearse that has a broken wheel is a coffin and there's a guy who's just like what what what's in there would you really bring a hearse with a coffin in it well <laughs> and then of course at the very top and that took a while to find is a vulture looking down at the carriage maybe a little bit morbid but uh, a lot of a fun scene to sort of assemble together just uh, gotta have fun all right Here's another one that's more of a statement by me. Um, these are supposedly the Mark 14 torpedoes from World War II <clears throat> that are being transported. And uh, with a lot of ordnance that is just uh, sitting there <clears throat> and uh, on the deck. And it would never be transported, of course, this way. Um, and then here you have a guy who is just pummeling the pin <laughs> on top of this Mark 14 a torpedo. Um, historically, turns out the Mark 14 torpedoes were did not work uh, at the beginning of World War II and uh, ended up killing a lot of uh, uh, submariners, very unfortunately. Um, Amongst other things, because the pin would buckle on the front. And this is me just making a kind of a sad commentary on the fact that uh, this guy can be pummeling on the pin and it really just doesn't do anything to the torpedo. And I just colored them in different colors uh, just for fun. And uh, the, the, of course, the ordinance is just sitting there being... <laughs> Uh, transported in ways that you would never do that yeah so you know you can you can learn a little bit about history and just combine it into your railroad um, and it could be meaningful to you and a homage to the people who went through that history okay you gotta have a sense of humor with your model trains so here's my town and in the middle of the town, there's a square. <clears throat> and in the middle of the square, there's a statue that has a Sasquatch. <laughs> and he was last seen in 1964. And I bought that, uh, that Sasquatch from um, a company and it was too big. Or at least I thought it was too big. So I made a this statue out of it and it's just sitting on top of... Uh, a balsa block and some balsa around it and so a few guys with a hound dog are playing um, checkers 
And then, of course, because this town is centered around Sasquatch, there must be Sasquatch that are <clears throat> in, uh, in the area. And way up here in the mountains, we have a Sasquatch that is petting a moose. <laughs> and on the right there at the bottom of the base of the tree is a Sasquatch hair that someone will collect and put in a museum, of course. And behind a tree is a photographer who's catching probably a fuzzy picture of uh, Sasquatch petting the moose. Yeah, gotta have fun with these things. Thank you.